Quaitani? But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel. I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that. girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. So, are you ready? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detect- That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back- Jumping to anthropology on me already? Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. I want to take... I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry.
we'll need to head to Mast. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own con. I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. Good. Let I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you, Captain. Now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over Exploration Outpost develop. The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, it is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. A planetary scan will reveal the presence of key inorganic re- and while a scan may detect the presence of life on a planet, you will have to analyze the native plan. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your Captain, I will proceed to... We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Maybe another time. It's you and me from here out. Okay. We should check in with Matteo or Noel.
your jetpack. Welcome to MAST. If you have an appointment... Most of MAST's employees... But if you're interested in joining the UC... Commander Tua... This... This is MAST. The beating heart of the United Col... I'm one of MAST's re... And that any... Enjoy your time and only those on a... Stay safe. Sarah. Ah, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of... All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I... It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some... Soul system... You mean hitting the bars, don't... Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come... Hey, Sarah's friend. Well, all right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can just... And if you've got any questions... Through the exhibit, well, you see certainly what to talk about itself. Huh? Yeah, Registration accepted. Oh. You may now proceed through the historical displays in the orientation hall or continue on to the examination. In 2015, humanity learned the Earth's magnetosphere would collapse sometime in the next half century, eliminating all life on the planet. Decisive action was required, but the secure transport of an entire civilization would demand a new kind of cooperation, a new kind of courage, and a new kind of union. Thus, in 2159, the United Colonies were formed to make that journey possible. Just one year later, the Galileo, the first of many colony ships, touched down here on Jemison, beginning a new era of human history, the age of the United Colonies. The effort and planning it must have taken to evacuate literally... From their foundation, the United Colonies strove to provide all their citizens with opportunity, security, and peace. But there were those among the UC that still wanted something more. Independence. So in 2161, the UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation, granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188, later followed by House Varun, revealing themselves to the universe in 2213. Look, I'm not supposed to be giving opinions on this. Is 
Yeah. The Centaurus population has always better been hands these days than back so when they the armistice. arose as a result. Was it worth it? Of the many conflicts between the galaxy's factions, none was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. Set off by the unauthorized Freestar colonization of Vesta's Pride in 2308, a direct violation of the Nereon Treaty, the colony war spread quickly across the galaxy. Both sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs, even bioengineered alien creatures, the infamous UC Xeno weapons. It was only in 2311 at the Battle of Cheyenne that the scales finally tipped. The Free Star Collective, utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield, successfully crippled the superior United Colonies Navy. After their shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies this thing is like in saving of any further human costs. The galaxy has been rebuilding. After the devastation wrought by the colony war, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand, that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. All four in 2311, oh three United Colonies senior officers were found guilty. Struck the UC city of Londinia. Londinia gave it over to the a newly constructed but critical supply center for them. It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. No one is born a United Colony citizen, only through service to the simulators just like these. They're startlingly realistic. Have fun. Ah, you must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. Of course. You'll be running through a high-realism combat flight simulation. Engineer, your task is to defeat at least three tiers of simulated opponents. However, if you defeat more than three tiers of enemies, your required enlistment time for citizenship will be reduced, and your enlistment bonus increased. But you're welcome to try as many times as you like before returning to Commander. We'll only keep the highest score you manage. The simulator is designed to be a near-perfect replica of a Class B demo. It's been tuned to provide a challenging but fair fight against the enemy squadrons you'll encounter inside. All right then. Flight Simulation Chamber Applicant, currently in orbit around a high-detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, Applicant. Target's active. Target's defeated. All targets. Defeated. 
to record your current score, or stay and try your hand at the remaining tiers. Resuming the examination. New targets active. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn a better score. We'll only keep your best run. That doesn't belong to you, right?
Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to... Then let's get to them. So, looking at the data... Checked out a few of the murals. Good. A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4. Not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the Sim too. I can tell you that wave are some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. 10 years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probation. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or other. So, you want to make this official? It's a big decision. John, you're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grant. Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So, you ready to do the deal? You're not in the Freestar Collective here. Vanguard keeps its work above board. You want in, you have to do the same. I understand. It's a big decision. By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe! Is it you? Is it really true? Captain of the Frontier, Bane of the... Is then the day? But now that I know it's you... But I changed my routine. Fantastic! I think that makes us roommates by room. Either way, it's such... Hey, do you mind? What am I saying? Good point. I'll start working on it right... Until then, maybe I can be a sidekick. If not, I can start... You won't be...